Arsenal Fan TV, 3-0. Uh, happy with the result? Happy with the performance? Happy with the result, as you can't complain with a win. But I'm not going to lie, I thought the first 75 minutes was an April Fool's joke. It was so boring. It was so boring. Like, mm. this is the thing. Put your book down. It's not funny. Like, <laughs> um, but um, no, the whole this is the situation. If we want to be at our most effective for the rest of the season, playing our Bamiyang out wide wouldn't be a bad idea. If we, I mean, I thought I, I said to you. Uh, so, so would you go a Bamiyang out wide? Lacazette like down the middle. What Mkhitaryan on the right for you? Is that? This is what I do. So obviously we've seen. The, obviously had a lack of issues prior to his injury and I, I remember saying to you that I think maybe this injury is, is the, his knees why well, hasn't been sharp the whole season maybe that's what stopped him what hasn't mm. let him stretch out for shots etc and I think he was really I think the way he came on the pitch he had a bit of a spring he never had before and I think personally just for the rest of the season obviously we're strengthening significantly and we're changing a lot in the summer but based on the rest of the season if we want to play at our best I think we've got to go you know how Bold said that Lacazette plays a 10 I slightly disagree with that in the sense that I'd go 4 4 2. That Burkham S scroll I'd give to Ozil. Let Lacazette go up front, Mkhitaryan on the right, Abowing on the left, and then have a midfield, I'd say probably either Xhaka and Ramsey or Xhaka and Wilshire. Um, I, think, I think one thing that we try and do is we try and do a bit too much. I think simple, basic football is what actually, is, when you're struggling, is what's actually most effective because you can do all that. Like Jovino, for example, he came to Arsenal, he was great at doing all the fancy stuff, but when he was actually through on goal, he bottled it. And what you need to continue to do at a club is you need to play the basic structure of football when, when in lead. And I think today, I think Butler was fantastic for, for Stoke. I think he, he really kept him be a game. good shout for an Arsenal goalkeeper. I mean, I, I like the look of him as well. I think he's a great keeper, but he's not on our top list of targets because of his price due to the fact he's obviously a British. He's, British. he's obviously, a top goalkeeper. I mean, so pricey, is, so I is mean. Leno and so is um, Timo Horn. And there are two Whoop. main boys that we're scouting. I, I'd rather have a Butler. Same. To be honest, he's used to the Premier League. Like the guy said, he's a young guy. Um, every time I've seen him play against Arsenal, he's been excellent. They want an excess of 40 million for him. And so what? But you know we, I mean, he's, 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 the, this boy. is the issue with the Europa League. <laughs> we got the Mula we boy. We don't necessarily. With the Europa League, you get more money from winning the champ sorry, qualifying the Champions League than you do um, winning the Premier League. Mm. And for our budget. If we weren't to win the Europa League and get that get that added revenue, then we would need to look at selling players like Bellerin and Ramsey, who are sceptical. Ramsey for sceptical on a new deal, but Bellerin also because obviously he's not been as consistent over the past couple mm. of seasons. And if we obviously if we can't, then it's a bad idea spending that sort of money on someone like Butland, where we could actually bring in Horn for six million because he's got obviously Cologne have a relegation clause for him, or even Timo Horn, who's got a release clause at the moment of 25 million euros, where then we can look to strengthen areas where we need to more, i.e having a new, for example, new centre-back. So in my opinion, what we need most is a solid defensive midfielder to sit there. Because it's all great having all these attacking midfielders, these solid midfielders, but I'd much rather have a solid defensive midfielder and then let them do their thing. For example, we have players like Wilshere, Aaron, Ozil, etc. They keep everything to track back. And if, they want to play, if we want to play them at their best and, and show them in the most... In the, in the most effective way, mm. we have to have someone like, a, for example, a Kante there who does his job to allow them to move forward and do what they do. So mm. not free roles, but to allow them that bit more freedom where, they're not, where the defence aren't relying on them single-handed to keep tracking back to defend where we are blatantly weak. And, and yeah. uh, CSK Thursday, confident after today's game that we can get through that unscathed? It's an interesting one because it seems to me in our, in the the actual tie itself is actually being used by the governors like a trial run essentially for, for how they're going to push forward and I think I think the actual game here I think will play well I think I, I do think we'll win the game however what I'm interested in is how, how their fans are out with us here but all equally how it turns back when we get to their place because knowing also let's say let, hyper, complete hypothetical let's say we, we would cruise them here on, on Thursday and we beat them by three or four no, by three or four goals which knowing also we're quite we're, we're, we're very good at doing scoring in, in, in quick succession if we were to go out there and play a weaker team I don't think our we young could team, no, well, that we could season, team. No, no, our so season I mean, rests on no, that. No, no, There's so no what way we can. Is, what I'm saying is, if we were if we were to win three or by three or so goals, have a good margin, and we weren't needing to to to, to score so uh, I to goals. Don't think we're going no, what, a exactly, team. exactly what I'm saying is, if we were to have let's say allow a couple more of the younger players, even the squads, for example, like, a, like I don't know, like a Nelson or an Aketia, or even someone like Welbeck who's not great on confidence, I would really fear. For that situation, because knowing Wenger, I don't, I don't he would rest. That's going to happen. Listen, there's no back, way. There's no way we're going to rest players. But also, yeah, but they, they, listen, they, we're not going to finish in the top four. No, I know. It's not. all on the Europa League, so we've we got to go. Our games, we're still finishing sixth. Yeah, at this so rate, you got to go for it. So we're not going to be rest players. I, due to the way that our players' confidence are in terms of how they've obviously due to the season, how it's gone, they've got a lot of stick, which made them come to deteriorate. I'm very worried to see them in a in a very politically like a very high 
area of tension that Russia will be, especially the way leg. And I think we have to do everything we can to win the to get try and win the tie here before we go there. Because if we if we were to go there with a one 0 win, we're, we're getting knocked out. We've got to solidify on Thursday. We're giving you a chance to be on Arsenal Fan TV and give your opinion after the game. All you've got to do is WhatsApp your video and hold the camera like this. Send it straight after.